welcome back everyone to another video and in this one i am planning on putting a final thought into 64 bit operating systems for the raspberry pi and is it really worth it and should you stick to the 32 bit raspbian builds that are already out there now to make this video possible i took help of a blog called dev site story and this is maintained and authored by bilal amarni and uh, he posted uh, about getting 64-bit Debian builds on the Raspberry Pi working and uh, he also maintains these builds so I'll put a link down in the description to the uh, blog post as well as the github page so that you guys can go ahead and take a look so this is basically a, a comparison between uh, the Raspberry Pi running Raspbian OS uh, default at 32 bits and then uh, this Raspberry Pi running a Debian based operating system based on the official 64-bit uh, kernel that is uh, that can be obtained from the Raspberry Pi uh, Raspberry Pi's GitHub page uh, which is actually available and supported and being actively developed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, but it's not available in the builds right now so this is a custom Debian build using that Linux kernel so let's kick off the benchmark with some results first of all uh, Octane benchmark I was really interested in seeing how JavaScript performs if it is even uh, anything better uh, honestly the uh, I did install Chromium uh, browser on the Debian build and the experiment wasn't too great it was very very sluggish now the Chromium browser that you get on the Raspbian OS is actually heavily modified and optimized for uh, for the hardware that is present in the Raspberry Pi specifically talking about the GPU so that is a very very pleasant experience to work with but unlike here we have a very uh, generic build of chromium uh, running on the raspberry pi uh, and the build is for arc 64 architecture so so the score was pretty much the same at 2700 points uh, it was very very similar to what you would get on the raspbian uh, apart again apart from that the performance was not really worth it so uh, again straight off there's no performance gain uh, if you are considering web browsing or anything like that video recording uh, video playback on your browser anything like that will not work it's not really optimized for it right now at least not this build so moving on to our ffmpeg compile benchmark now this benchmark was specially performed to show not the uh, performance advantage but actually the issues uh, regarding a 64-bit operating system that can arise in a device uh, like the Raspberry Pi that has heavy memory constraint in terms that it has only one gig of RAM so the first time I ran uh, the benchmark it lasted for around 33 minutes but as soon it was linking everything together uh, into a single ffmpeg binary it crashed with further inspection i found out that the reason was that there wasn't enough ram there wasn't enough memory now on an average uh, a 64 bit uh, compiler or when you compile a program for uh, a 64-bit operating system or a 64-bit system what you get is at average a minimum of 30% larger binaries that consume much more amount of RAM even the compilation process takes a huge amount of RAM when I was running this on Raspbian there was no issue at all there was no uh, limitation uh, in terms of memory in terms of RAM the swap was barely used and it took around 27 minutes uh, again on the uh, Debian build it took me 33 minutes and uh, a lot more RAM I was able to get it to work properly and that is by creating swap partition using ZRAM so that I had literally a gig of RAM and then another gig of swap space uh, running using ZRAM so that I wouldn't use my SD card as a uh, as a swap area because SD cards are uh, really slow and if you try to use them for swap uh, you will have a really bad time again so that again took 33 minutes flat and was able to do the job 
so yes if you are planning on using 64 bit do remember do not run any application that may be constrained with ram or uh, takes up a lot of ram uh, again uh, else you are going to have a pretty bad time so moving on we have something called sysbench and i use this for pure mathematical cpu based benchmark uh, and what it does it, it calculates prime numbers to up to a certain point uh, i put it at a default at ten, uh, up to 10000 points and uh, we had only one thread running now here is where the performance benefit of a 64 bit system comes in with calculations that use a lot of floating point uh, and uh, mathematically uh, intense on the cpu uh, 64 bits do have a big big advantage how much big over 15 percent big in this particular test on the raspbian os i ran this on the single thread uh, in 32 bits and i was i had an average execution time of 183 seconds that's a lot of time moving on to the 64 build, bit build it only lasted a bit more than 12 seconds so yes there is a huge huge improvement so only if you have some type of an application that would benefit from 64 bits uh, and that is very mathematically stressing on the CPU, you have to do a lot of calculations, then it's probably good for you to start looking forward uh, you know to a 64 bit operating system running on the Raspberry Pi. Apart from that right now uh, I wouldn't really recommend diving deep into 64 bits on the raspberry pi as all you are going to get is a bit more sluggish performance and a lot of ram consumption that isn't necessarily good considering it only has a gig of ram which is also you know shared with gpu and other stuff and at the end of the day you get around 900 megabytes of free ram so that was it a final take on 64 bit operating systems on uh, the raspberry pi Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.